You want to go on an adventure? Okay. All right, let's do it. Okay, it's super bright out here. Um, took a little bit of searching, but we found it. Um, they're pretty faded, and we had to do a little off-roading to get there. These are pretty cool. There's so many. Look at this one. Look at this one. Look at this one. The, the goat? Look at the faces, yeah, and the goat. I don't know how well these are showing up. There, yeah, there's quite the face right there. And then next to it, that goat. You have no idea how well these are gonna show up. Look at the lizard. That's pretty cool. What do you think? I think it's really cool. All right, that was pretty cool. Um, what else? Uh, what else do you think, Michelle? Um, the thing I'm reading is talking about um, a cliff dwelling around here too. Oh my gosh, there's a whole bunch of them in here. Like on this cliff? Yeah. Okay, they just found a map that tells you all of them. All right, we're gonna go find a lot more. Okay, so Michelle found another one. You want to kind of tell us about this yeah, so one? Yeah, so this is called Cave Ruin. It's just about half a mile down the road from the last one. Um, and all it is is, so far, a wall and a cave. But you, we just parked off on this little uh, pull-off. And then there was a cow gate there. It was yep. one of those homemade ones. So now we're walking up this little road. All righty. Here we are. It's cool. Just a little house. A little yeah, I mean, not much. You can see where the smoke was, though. It used to be. Yeah. Wow. So, so to give you an idea how tall this is, I am just under 6'4", so there's plenty of headroom in here. I mean, not exactly a lot of living room, but I mean, if 
if you're looking for a place, you know, out of the rain, out of the elements, this could work. So this one definitely has what seems to be some burn marks though. It's like the little fireplace. Yeah, some more beer bottles out here. This one kind of looks like a face, doesn't it? Ooh. Wrong shoes. When you ask Michelle, do all of these, these petroglyphs and dwellings that we're going to, do you need to hike to them? And she says, no, you should probably just put your your shoes on, your hiking shoes anyways. What's for reference? Let's take over this for reference. Okay, here's our hike, ready? This little walk, okay? And then our truck is right there. Yeah, it's it's a pretty arduous little truck, us, trail, little hike though. relatively flat. Okay, so I'm gonna do a, a bit of climbing to get up here next to some some horses. This one that you can see from the highway. Wait till you see this. So theoretically, so this is all rock, rock fall at some point in time. So theoretically those fell from up there and then thankfully came to rest right here. That's a horse. I think they're all actually horse. But yeah, really, really cool. What do you think? It's cool. It's cool that you can just hike to it. Yeah. And there. Makes me what else wonder what else is buried under there. Yeah. Yeah, wow. And then a giant horse. And somebody carved in the horse's butt, of course. Really cool. What does this say? U.S. Department of Interior, unlawful to disturb. And that was Okay, so what do you think of this? I think it's so cool. It's probably been the most extensive petroglyph yeah, I think we've ever seen. I think so too. But these are super, super cool, especially the Cocopelli over there. So do you want to explain what the Cocopelli is? I don't know the significance. We're gonna have to look it up. But the Cocopelli is like this dude who's like kind of crouching, playing a flute. Um, and that's just his name. He's all over the place in the Southwest. You'll, like we drove by an inn in the in Bluff called Cocopelli Inn. And the symbol is this dude playing his flute. So we Googled what Cocopelli was the symbol of because we were like, there's so many of them here. And there's actually like probably a dozen. Uh, Cocopelli is the symbol of fertility for a lot of ancient cultures, which makes sense. And upon re-examining the panel, you might say that all of the Cocopellis have a third leg. 
And a big one at that. I don't know how we missed that the first time. Like, neither of us. We're like, wow, look at what's sticking out of him. There you go. Coco Pelli. So, without a doubt, if you are anywhere near Blanding, uh, Bluff, Mexican Hat, anywhere out here, you have to stop at Sand Island Campground or whatever this is um, and come check out these petroglyphs. The hundreds to thousands of years of, of history that it is written on these walls behind me is just something, something else. Um, Michelle and I, we're, we're kind of history geeks, so just kind of thinking about all that history and how that is their, their written language, that's, that's their traditions that they're putting on the wall. Um, that's just so cool to us. So if you are interested in reading this, just go ahead and pause the video and take a look to see what it says. So now what we're going to go do um, is Valley of the Gods. Yeah. Valley of the Gods. Um, so yeah, it should be pretty cool. All right, so we made it to Valley of the Gods and we've already found some, some mud. I don't know if you can see that, probably not. Uh, that we've made it through. So let's uh, let's check out what we got in Valley of the Gods. So if you're coming through this way and you're looking to do some BLM hey, camping, what? Where have we seen them before? The retro? Yeah. Huh? Wait, is that that fifth wheel? Oh, that's the same, that's the same, uh, Yeah, it's, oh, and the school bus. The bus, yeah. Wow, they, they must all be, so, the, the three of them, we, we saw them, um, in Moab. They were, they were not with us, but in the same little spot.
right, so hopefully uh, you kind of enjoyed some of that drone footage. Um, I, I certainly had a lot of fun um, kind of practicing playing with that drone. Uh, it's, it's a lot of fun to, to use, uh, though it's, it's pretty challenging to get some of those more, I guess, acrobatic shots. Um, and Michelle has been working on her off-roading in the truck. It's a, quite a bit different than the 4 huh? For sure, yeah. The bumps are a little bit different and they handle differently. This washboarding is just insane. I don't think it would matter what vehicle we take across that washboarding. It would rattle you to pieces. Um, it doesn't exactly handle gravel-covered hills the same way my 4 would. So, a little bit of a learning experience. Um, let's get in. Yeah, the, the one-ton truck is a little bit different than than our little forerunners. Um, but nonetheless, I mean, it's, it's been a good experience. Um, you know, you, you definitely start learning the limits of all the different vehicles, whether that's a drone or a truck that, that you, um, that you, or I guess that they have. Um, and it's, yeah, it's been a pretty fun adventure. And we still have probably at least I don't know, five miles left on this I road? I have no idea. We're not going the right way. So I have no idea. So we might be going somewhere completely yeah. wrong. All right, so we're, we're driving down the road um, and we see a building and we're like in the middle of the desert right now. Like we haven't seen anything other than cars and campers that probably shouldn't have made it down the road that they did. And then we come up this hill and we see this house. So go, go and drive forward. Let's, let's uh, So there's, there's this house right here, and look what it is. Super cute. Valley of the Gods Bed and Breakfast. What do you think, Michelle? I think that's adorable. You wanna think stay I, there? I would love to actually stay in something like that, especially with this kind of like background, and, or backdrop, and the location's just perfect. It's cool. That is pretty cool. So, if you're looking for a place that has you know, a bed and breakfast, then, um, and you're in this area, check out Valley of the Gods Bed and Breakfast. Um, I have no idea how far it is away from the main road. I think with the war within a mile, right? You said we were like two miles from that spot that I marked before. Yeah, I, I guess we'll see. Maybe. I think we're pretty close. Maybe two miles from somewhat of a passable non-off-road road. We're either super close or nowhere close. Yeah. Oh look, pavement. Oh, we're fine. Pavement. Look, pavement. Oh man, it's like, it's super close. Alrighty guys, I think that's gonna do it for this video. Uh, after our kind of sightseeing, we just went to the, the grocery store, picked up a few things, and now we're back and we're gonna kind of finish up um, unpacking do a little work, and just kind of relax. So thank you for tuning in, um, and we'll see you guys next week. Good morning, and welcome to the future, or the present, or whatever. It's it's today, so our video goes live today. But we, um, we're back in Washington State, and staying with some family, and it, it has been brought to our attention that we haven't done a trailer tour. So. We're gonna do a really quick one, um, just to kind of show what we got going on. So, welcome to my crib. Okay. Okay. So the big furniture upgrades that we did were in the living room. Living room, even though it's all one space. So we got this couch. Uh, we chose this one because it's comfy. It's actually really comfy for the space. Um, however, the caveat was it's like the same color brown as the walls and the carpet. So as Phil promised, I got some fun pillows. We already had this blanket, but it fits in there really nice. Makes it brighter, makes it a nice space. When I'm here, I just cozy up with all the pillows. When it's Phil, all the pillows are on the ground. So there's that. Um, the other big furniture addition was this chair. And this chair is really exciting for Phil. Phil's a chair person because it not only rocks, but it glides. I don't know if you can tell it's gliding. Um, and it swivels. So those three comboed are pretty much his favorite thing. He had a chair like that in Spokane that I made him throw away because it was nasty. 
it was also free and on the side of the road. So the other small piece of furniture that we got, we got this uh, delivered general delivery in Grand Junction. This is just a little desk. It came in like a perfectly almost flat box and we just screwed it all together. And this is where Phil makes all of his videos. So all the videos that you're watching, including this one, actually not this one, um, have been produced from this desk. So that's been pretty exciting. The chairs, we've had these, it's kind of a long story. We had two folding chairs, two not folding chairs. We took the folding chairs on the first leg of the trip. The folding chairs destroyed themselves. So we have replaced them with these, um, which look identical. So you probably won't notice the difference, but they will not collapse, which is really exciting. So yeah, that is our furniture upgrade. So since we're here, I thought I'd show you the kitchen. You're pretty much looking at it all. There's not, because it's a trailer, we're not hiding much in here. Um, the island is really nice. There's tons of storage and drawers over here. Um, I think my mother-in-law told me once that her trailer only has one or two drawers. And I we have so many, it's really nice. It makes it very easy to live in full time because of the amount of drawers. Um, we have a full pantry as well, which is really nice. Don't mind the mess. Um, we also store cleaning supplies in here, or the broom and the Swiffer. Uh, this is really, really nice because we don't, like 90% of our grocery runs are not for dry food. They're for fresh food because we have so much dry food storage space. It's nice. Um, stove, oven, fridge. Yep, what you see was what you get there. Um, these cabinets are really nice too. This is where we keep all of our dishes. And then we have some additional RV storage in there. So, yeah, that's the trailer or the living area of the trailer. Okay, so I only intended this to be like a one and done, two minute just segment of the video just to kind of show what we got going on. It's already six minutes plus long. Um, so we're gonna do a really quick, this is our bathroom. And then because I kind of promised you guys a while ago, I would do um, a video on our battery system. I'll do that in just like 30 seconds or less. Okay, so Michelle. Okay, so this is our bathroom. That's not much to it, so it'll be fast. The big major thing that we did in here was we painted. It it's used to be the same um, wood as the rest of the space, that dark wood. I painted it, I sanded it all down, painted everything. Um, that's really all we've done in the bathroom. We do, the other cool thing, we bought these little bins um on amazon i think because these cubbies are ridiculously skinny but they go all the way back to the wall so those are too deep that's kind of nice but that's it that's the bathroom okay so this is actually the first part of our battery system solar system so um, this is kind of our whole command center it has our shore power our ac loads battery percentage um solar so when we actually are getting solar um i'll, I'll look at it right here um when we aren't hooked up, I look at this stuff all the time. I'm kind of obsessed about it. Um, in here, underneath our bed, is where the actual battery system is. Um, so over here, this is our charge controller. Um, this is our solar disconnect. So if there's ever a problem, I just flip that switch. Um, that is the, the brains to it all. So that connects to the screen you just saw. Um, this is our multi plus, so this is our, our inverter. So every all of our stuff goes through that. Um, and then we have 400 amp hours of lithium. Um, so then on the roof, we have uh, 840 watt hours of solar. So that's the, that's the quick on our batteries. All right, so thank you guys for tuning into the video. Um, again, every single Sunday at six o'clock, um, we have a new video coming out. We are probably about four weeks behind. Um, so currently the video you guys just saw is after Moab and before we head to the Grand Canyon. So spoiler, that's what, that's what next week is going to be. Um, so again, thank you guys for tuning in. Um, and we'll see you guys next Sunday. Bye.